always finish all the way over your shoulder. Make sure that your elbow's up in the air with your hand next to your ear. Have you heard that? It's a common thing that I hear a lot of times from a ton of our students is that their coach told them they should always finish over their shoulder. And I'm here to tell you that it's not true. There are times where you wanna finish over your shoulder, but there are plenty of times where you might finish down here, uh, below your shoulder. You might finish just barely below your shoulder or anywhere in between. It is not an always factor of where you need to be. I had Kevin come out and just hit a bunch of random forehands. And we hit all different styles, and we're gonna go over three specifically. One that is all the way over the shoulder and why you would wanna do this. One that is almost down by his left pocket and why you would wanna do that. And one that's somewhere in between as well. So let's dive right in. The first one we're gonna look at is Kevin finishing up over his shoulder. Now, you can see that this finish is a product of actually what happened before. It's not, he's not trying to make his racket finish over his shoulder because he manipulated it to get it up there. It's happening because he's trying to hit a flatter ball through the court, as you can see. He's coming directly at the ball. He wants that flatter ball, that more direct ball with a little less margin, and he's driving out through it. And as a result, this is where his finish is naturally. Now, you can see that this next one we're gonna look at is the opposite end of the spectrum. When you want the ball to actually come back into the court like a roll where you want it to come back in really short and you want that path to be where it's having an arc but it's actually coming into the court shorter, then you're going to need to have your swing path mimic that. And that's where you're now gonna see that Kevin's coming directly way below the ball and he's actually coming off the ball thinly so that he can finish towards his left pocket. You can see how much further down this finish is than where he was before over his shoulder. So this is a good example of where you would want to finish when you're looking for that angle shot where you really want a heavy topspin ball, you want to hit it thinly, and you want it to come back into the court really quickly. Your goal is that your swing mimics what you're looking for. So if I'm looking to drive the ball at you, I'm going to swing out towards you and my natural finish is going to be to come up more over my shoulder. If I want to actually have the ball dip down at your feet, my swing path is going to be coming from below and it's gonna actually come up and thinly touch the ball through the contact and come down around. I'm trying to mimic that arc to get down at your feet. So those are the two extremes of finishing down by your pocket and all the way up over your shoulder. Now an in-between rally ball situation for Kevin would look more something like this where he's coming under the ball. Kevin hits a heavy topspin ball as well, but he's driving out through the ball and he's gonna be finishing a little bit below his shoulder, as you can see. You can really tell right here where it's a little bit below the top of his shoulder. So it's somewhere in between. So the whole point of this is, is that you do not always have to finish over your shoulder. And if he were in a position where he was out wide hitting that angle that we were just hitting here and he was trying to manipulate from this position to stop right there and come up over the shoulder, that would not be a natural finish. That would add a lot of tension to what he's doing and would actually disrupt and not end up with the same result that he really is looking for with that shape on the ball coming back at your feet like we were talking about or an angle off of the court. So it's really important that you don't think that every shot you need to finish over your shoulder or you need to catch your racket. Because as you can see, there are many times where Kevin's not catching his racket and he's ending in a much lower position than over the shoulder. You want it to be a natural finish and a natural product of what happened before 
then you actually make contact. So once you make contact, you actually should be decelerating and having that along the same path as you were accelerating before the contact point. So it's really important to understand that it's a byproduct. It's not something that you manipulate to make happen in the same position every time. And if you understand this, you're gonna be able to hit much more variety on your forehand. You're gonna be able to dip the ball at your opponent's feet. You're gonna be able to angle off of the court. You're gonna be able to drive through that short ball. You're gonna be able to do all of these things with much less effort, less tension, and have a much more natural swing path and a much more natural finish.